Hey Mega Maniacs, this is Mr. Mega Man Fan and I've got three packs of trading cards here. Animal Crossing from Japan Series 1. And I can't believe I haven't opened this yet, but I will on today's stream. And also, this UFC Ultimate Fighting Championship card pack from Tops with eight cards inside. Last but not least, WWE Aggression, which I found while I was cleaning. Apparently, I picked this up at a vintage stock store, which I believe are in Oklahoma. Let's start with the pack of WWE trading cards and see what's inside. This technique of splitting the foil goes back to when I was a kid collecting baseball cards. I always try to split it from the back side. And we're off to a good start. Word life, it's John Cena. And it looks like he's going to adjust somebody's attitude. Then we've got Chief Morley, better known as Val Venus. Hello, ladies. Then we've got Queens of the Ring, 4 of 10. Jazz, former ECW champion, current NWA champion in their women's division. Coincidentally enough, we have Jazz again. She is much more than just a pretty face. Ain't that the truth? She was one of the architects of what I would consider to be the women's evolution because she was tough and beautiful. And a good way to finish, Shawn Michaels delivering some sweet chin music, quite possibly to Triple H. That is a very good end to that pack of WWE aggression trading cards. Let's move on to UFC and see what's inside the foil. Last time I opened one of these, I got an autographed Clay Guida card. Don't know if I'll have that kind of luck again, but you never know until you open up the pack. That's the whole nature of the randomness of packs of trading cards is the excitement of not knowing what you could find inside. And we're starting off with Brian Bowles, WEC Bantamweight. That dates these trading cards because the WEC no longer even exists, not even as a subdivision of UFC. It's just been merged in and is gone completely. Next up, Lights Out, Chris Lytle. No longer in UFC, he is retired from the promotion. So that again dates this pack. There's a better look at his face. Holy crap, this is better than I expected. It's an authentic piece of a UFC cage featuring Forrest Griffin. I hope this isn't from the fight where he ran out of the cage after being humiliated by Anderson Silva. With any luck, maybe it's actually from the fight where he won the UFC light heavyweight title. I have no way of knowing which piece of the cage this came from, but it was supplied directly by UFC as the card itself says. And it feels pretty nice in there, but this is definitely much thicker than an average trading card. Probably be a dead tip off if you were weighing these packs, you would know that there was something special inside. Team No Yera versus Team Mir. Once again, that dates this pack of trading cards. Christoph Shosinski. We once interviewed him on Glove Up or Shut Up, so I'm happy about that trading card. And here we have UFC veteran Ross Pearson, who sadly just lost the last fight he had within the last week or two of me filming this video, so... It seems like his career is, at least in UFC, probably come to an end. And we have... Stefan Struve, whose career definitely is at an end because he just laid down his gloves in the octagon in a show overseas. So he's done. And Anthony Rumble Johnson at welterweight. Once again, dating this pack because he had trouble making the welterweight and he even had trouble making the middleweight limit. So he ended up going all the way up to light heavyweight and heavyweight when he went to WSOF. Randy... The Natural Couture, one of my all-time favorite fighters, and a very good end to this pack. Moving on to the Animal Crossing Amiibo cards from Japan. Very tough glue they used to seal this pack, but I finally managed to rip it apart. And let's see which Amiibo trading cards are inside. We're starting with Tom Nook, number two, a very good start. And here we have Bengal. She is number 56 in this pack of only three cards. Last but not least, the aptly named Bunny is number 87 from Animal Crossing. So to recap the best cards I got out of these packs, 
the authentic piece of the UFC cage featuring Forrest Griffin, definitely the highlight of the UFC pack, Tom Nook from the Animal Crossing pack of only three cards, and Word Life, it's basic thugonomics with John Cena.